This episode of Chins and Giggles is presented by NYX Cosmetics Pro Fix Stick Concealers. Oh, baby, when I tell you this has been my go-to concealer, NYX Cosmetics Pro Fix Stick Concealers is super affordable at only $9, y'all. You can get three shades for less than the price of a more expensive one. It's the best bang for your buck, mama. Not only are they super affordable, the quality, y'all, like, they've literally been my go-to. NYX Cosmetics Pro Fix Stick Concealer comes in 24 pro shades to correct, conceal, and brighten. 24 shades is amazing, girl. Sometimes it'd be hard color matching for concealers. That part, yeah. That's a good range. The color correcting is made easy with six color correctors for all skin tones and 18 complexion shades to conceal and brighten like a pro. Get this, girl. It covers up dark circles, redness, mm-hmm. hyperpigmentation, discoloration, all of it. Pro Fix Sticks covers it. It's so pigmented, y'all. You really don't need to load it up. They're also super easy and convenient. You can keep it in your purse for a quick touch up while you're on the go. When it's on, it's on for 12 hours. A quick fix and a solid stick for anything you're trying to fix up really quick. No mess, no fuss, just results fast. Okay, that part, I love retouching with it because it literally melts onto your skin. And you could even just like use your finger to to put it on. Like it's amazing. You know, with other ones, sometimes it's like it's runny or you have to like blend in with products. With this, you could literally just touch up anytime. So girl, what are you waiting for? Get your NYX Cosmetics Pro Fix Stick Concealers at your favorite makeup retailer. What's good? What's good? What's good, y'all? Welcome back to Chins and Giggles, season three, episode 89. Season three is crazy. Like, how are we on season three? That's crazy. I know. I feel almost like, <laughs> bitch, it's only been like two weeks. I had, was it two or three? It was, was it like, two or three weeks? I think it was three, right? It, it was three. It was like a three week break from the holidays, guys. So, you know, it was wanted- a good break. It was a good break, and we're only one week into the new year. Happy New Year, by the way, y'all. Happy New Year. And there's already so much going on, bitch. Well, Gypsy Rose got out of jail, but but that was before New Year's. You know that? Yeah, she got out on the 28th, right, of December? Yeah, Gypsy Rose. Have you seen the act? I Yeah, I watched it, like, years ago. So, I, I mean, I hadn't heard about it till recently. <laughs> Wait, so, did you actually just discover Gypsy Rose? So, when Gypsy it was Rose? trending, I watched the, the whole thing the day before she came out of jail. Wait, did you just discover Gypsy Rose? I, you know what? I think I had heard about the case, but yeah, I did. So you never knew about it before this? I'm sure I probably saw it somewhere, but I would never got into it. Oh shit. So you didn't really know like much about the whole case? No, I didn't. I it's literally, crazy. I'm not kidding, Myra. I got into the Gypsy Rose case before the, um, the act even came out. So really? when, when the act came out, I think we have watched it, but I feel like I know the whole case because like I got so into it before the act even came out. Really? I feel like so that I was the case that you were like really into. Yeah, you know how whenever you ever hear like like that other case we really got into, which is like Chris Watts? Oh, I, yes. I got you into that case. Yeah, you did. The Chris, Chris Watts, Watts case? I got, I've been into it for Bitch. years. I feel like I know the whole fucking case before I even watched the so, act Should we like, in case some people don't know about the case? Yeah. Like kind of... So culture? Gypsy Rose... um. She got charged second degree murder for basically plotting her mom's death. Mm. Um, It's crazy. It's this whole thing. I I mean, mean, you really have to look into it. It's a long story. It's a long story, but her mom, there's literally a word for it. There is a word for it. Something by proxy or like, I know that Gypsy was, she's advocating for it. It's like a mental illness where you like the attention from being sick, from the idea of being sick. And that's what her mom had like she had she obviously was like mentally ill yeah. like gypsy says like gypsy has come out in interviews and you know recently and she says like my mom was not a monster she was just severely like mentally ill something was not okay because she liked the attention of her daughter being sick and the attention she was getting from her daughter being I sick. i mean she they was got never- a whole ass house girl myra she had surgeries she would take like medications like lose her teeth like yeah she I was know. like watched- really um like killing her almost yeah slowly. basically i mean yeah. your your body could only take um, take so much medication you don't even and she need was it. never sick that's the crazy part like people thought she couldn't walk but like she knew she could walk you know okay so obviously we can't get into all of it it's a fucking it would be a whole episode but when i was watching the act uh-huh. like w- as as the crime was happening i was like i'm curious about this let me go on the facebook <gasps> you found her facebook when they were writing down the Facebook post, uh-huh. 
I was searching on Facebook and I found the Facebook post. You found the Facebook, the real yes, one, the real Facebook post. Wait, you found Gypsy Rose's old Facebook account. Yes. I found the Facebook post when she says the I am alive or the bitch is dead. Yeah. Whatever they put, I found it. Right. Okay. <laughs> so I'm watching it as the show's going down, like in front of me, I'm watching the first one. What's going on? Everybody like worried. <gasps> Can somebody go out there? I'm down the street. I'm going like, as I'm watching this happen on TV, I'm looking at all the comments, living it like in front of me. It's crazy. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you found it's real. So she posts that and there's the comments are still there and everything. The comments are Bitch, still I'm gonna need there. You to screenshot them. Karina, so we can show them. Yes. It's insane. I, when, I was literally looking at the comments, watching the show. And I was like, people like, Oh my God. Um, they, they, um, How do you find the mom account? is obviously, you know, not alive, but they say gypsy. She, she's somewhere. Yeah. And everybody's like, thank God gypsy's okay. Oh my God. Is she hurt? What's going they on? And think, I'm like, yes, because when that happened, they thought, well, Myra, they're thinking, you know, they see yes. her as like, you know, somebody who's everybody's severely- like, oh my God, praying, f- praying for it for gypsy now. Um, oh hope she's gosh. okay. Yeah. Like it's insane. Right. And you know what was the last comment? Somebody had posted an article like mom scamming so and so, like exposing the whole thing. Whoa. So it was like from everybody being worried to, oh my goodness, like they're Can they, you imagine it's like crazy. I, I've like actually thought about like I mean obviously the lady's like, you know, she's dead, so she doesn't know that all this like unraveled. Mm. But can you imagine like dying and you you're still the bad guy after death, like but like maybe you don't even realize you were ever the and bad in guy. the beginning like all the comments i mean people are like so thinking this woman's this gypsy is disabled she can't walk all of that yeah they're thinking they're like, like oh it's my your God. wheelchair they're like the comments karina everybody is like losing it in the comments wow losing it and it caught my eye because this was june 14th 2000, 2016 right 15 no or I'm she, sorry, 15? she went to jail to that it happened really recently and well, it no. caught my eye because i was Not like recently. i was probably at buca de pebo because this is me and brian's anniversary June 14th. Oh. So I was thinking back, June 14th. So you remember 1981, that date? Uh, 1981. No, <laughs> 1981. I'm fucking with you. What year was it? It was 2015, wasn't it? I thought it was 2016. And I was telling Brian, I'm like, we were out here celebrating wow. our anniversary. Whoa. Wow. While Gypsy, while Gypsy was out here. Well, they didn't commit the crime then. You know that? That's when they, they got caught. Right? So she actually, and this post says June fourteenth. Like it's crazy. So that's the day that she probably just posted it, but it actually happened June nine, two thousand fifteen. And you know what it is? I mean, they say obviously the act is like they didn't even get her, her permission. Of course not. Yeah. So we don't know exactly everything, but like they're talking like when she's like with the boy over at the boyfriend's house, and they're like, oh yeah, you know it's summer, it's really hot. They're talking about that, and then she, they were talking about something like some food rotting. And she's like thinking in her head, like, oh, my mom's like by herself. She's just still haven't discovered her. The reason why they made those Facebook posts was to get them to get the mom. Because she felt bad that the mom was like still there and nobody knew that she had passed. Oh, is that why she posted that? That's, they made those posts. And that's actually true. She does talk about it. They made those posts because they wanted for her body to be found. Because or nobody. She, she felt guilty. She wanted her body to so be found. nobody was like out there looking for no, her. No, no. They, they got people's attention with those posts and for the second one where 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 and it's a little more like you know gruesome where she says like you know i am alive you know and uh-huh. did so and so to her innocent little daughter she's like she tells she tells the boyfriend like what would victor say and she takes over the computer she wrote that oh. gypsy rose wrote that yeah so basically, Gypsy Rose, you guys, um, you know, her mom was basically like acting like Gypsy was sick. I mean, it came to the point that doctors were write pers- prescriptions and even like perform surgeries on her that's for crazy. illnesses she didn't have. And that's the part that I can't wrap my fucking head around. How do you convince a doctor to write you prescriptions or to like diagnose you with shit without physically no, seeing it on your body? Perform surgeries, Karina. Perform surgeries on that's your bitch. That's crazy. Like there wasn't any x-rays and shit to like see if there was anything physically there or like blood work i don't get it i don't that part that. like you gotta be really like manipulative manipulative to like have your doctor do yeah. those things mm-hmm. that's fucking crazy but gypsy rose was freed december 28th and gypsy talked him out of it but he wanted to 
do stuff to the to mom his after mom. and aliving her. That was part of his deal. But she was like, that's not happening. Like, you are fucking crazy. Yeah, he was de- he's definitely obviously and <laughs> he does say that I don't think she thought he would go through through it. Like, he would actually do it. Oh my God, really? So it was kind of, I don't know. I mean, maybe she did want her, like, I mean, obviously an alived. But they say she part of her didn't really believe that he would actually do it. What's crazy, Myra, is like, it's just so fucking crazy how this all just unravels like after her death, you know, mm. like when you were thinking about it. And yeah. then like how she said that her going to jail, she felt more free than, than, than she did at home with her mom. Yeah. That's what's crazy. I don't know why every time I think about just Gy- gypsy Rose, like, you know, killing her mom. I don't know why I imagine her as like a child. And I forget that she was like freaking like 20 already or more or yeah, older. She thought she was cause she, they, yeah. Cause her well, mom lied about her age. Thought, I think she kind of had an idea. I don't want. I want to say one of my favorite cases, like because you know, you just, it's, it's one of my case. the most like intriguing ones that I've. I also feel like people are kind of like a lot of people are hyping her up. I followed her. I'm like slay queen <laughs> because honestly, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it was obvious that she was being abused. It's obvious yeah, that like she was. I mean, did it have to go down like that? Obviously not. But like, I mean, I feel, I do feel bad for the mom. Like she, she was like, she was not all there. Yeah. And it's so fucking sad that like, oh my God, like, does she actually like, it's actually so sad. She actually died, you know? Uh, but like at the same time, yeah, she was literally like, that's like, it doesn't make abuse. it okay. It's abuse, I would never it. be like, go off queen about yeah. it. No. But I, I think like, it, I guess it's nice to see like that side of her where she's free and she's like, you the know, the plot twist of it all is just crazy. That's what, what it is. Like the, the plot, plot twist. twist is just fucking crazy. Yeah. And like, it's just so, you know, I think the whole, I'm here for her being an influencer. I think it's so iconic. She really is out here coming for everybody. Like, huh? it, so many years in jail and then to come out and like, she's you know, so well spoken TikTok, she's so well spoken her I'm interviews like, i'm like on, you are queen. you are she a has celebrity a personality and everything she does she has a little like sass to her she has a little charm like i don't know how to explain it huh she's very like mm, like like she talks like you are trained at, like you're not and oh my god wait she was as a kid oh when she god. was by her mom Myra. she did do a lot of interviews with her mom when she would like pinch you know her, what? she was saying that's girl. actually crazy because that's probably why she, she so kind of was them. like low key in that not necessarily in this industry, but she was in an industry before. She was Myra. She, she was, was on the news, all winning the time. awards. She was in the news. She was in interviews. So this is not new to her. Yeah. Huh. Well, oh, even shoot. in jail, Myra, like she she had to have an idea of her popularity because she was getting interviews in jail all the time uh-huh. and stuff, and she knew that there was like you know the act and all that. But she's like, yeah, she's really good at interviews and like she's so well spoken. Her comments on Instagram are hilarious. Oh, the one with her with her man? That <laughs> shit is funny, bitch. Yeah, she's like the D something. Something like I'm getting the dick or I don't know what I she's like, like. Come on, Queen. And he was like, Come get some or something. Like, like what? Girl, y'all buy right by each other commenting this ad. Like, right? It's Queen. so funny. But I I still don't get how they got married in jail. Like, how do you do that? I think like they obviously they started with letters and then they started meeting. She said that a lot. She said that like hundreds of guys had like sent her letters. But he but stood out, right? He stood out because he was from her hometown. Louisiana. Isn't that crazy? And yeah. then like, I don't know how that happened, the marriage thing, but. Th- that's or... gotta be like, realistically, a lot of adjusting though, because you never have like ever fully really dated. Oh, And yeah. now you're married and you're like together really getting to know each other. Cause you could only, if you could get, if you barely, I think. I'm comparing like my life to before being married. You get to know a lot about your partner once you're living together. Now imagine a window, you in jail. That's all the convert. You probably only have a certain amount, yeah, yeah, of conversations. I mean, she's living her best fucking life. Yeah, I'm should. here for it, and I think it's funny because people will be commenting like shit that we say now, like "go off, queen" or like "you ate that shit up." It, mm-hmm. Like, is she wondering like what the fuck does this mean? yeah like i'm sure people around her are telling like, her what do they say i ate what like yeah yeah that's so funny I, I i think about that people will be commenting like funny as shit i'm like does she even understand what we're talking about yeah it's hilarious but that's so funny i'm fucking here for her though she's an icon but new year you guys and there's already a lot of crazy shit happening girl there Did you a- guys hear about the flight where the window literally flew out, girl? The window flew out. The actual, yeah, it was like a door window. The door 
Luau? Mm-hmm. Let me check. Let me, let me, okay, hold on. Mark my notes down just because I really had to take. I, I I heard about this already, but I wanted to make sure I when said the right thing. When did this things. happen? I actually had not. I don't know how. So the fuck this I knew happened about like three days ago. So huh? this flight, Karina, get this. This flight was coming from Portland to Ontario, California. <gasps> not bitch, Ontario, not bitch. Ontario, girl. Bitch, I just flew out of there a few months ago. Exactly. You know, when I hear about like plane crashes and stuff, I normally think, you know, it's back in the day, baby. Not a plane that was made two months ago. <laughs> Let me tell you that. The plane wait. was made two months ago. <laughs> it, was, it was turned in in October. Oh my God. Wait, how long does it take to make a plane? That's a real question right there. Well, it was not made good enough, apparently, for wait, the window. The plane. Oh my God. The plane okay. is two months old. Alaska Airlines flight heading to Ontario, California from Portland, Oregon. Bitch. This type of aircraft comes equipped with a rear of emergency <laughs> exit door. I'm not laughing at it. Used this. mainly by international airlines. And it has a seat configuration that allows for more passengers on the plane. Mm-mm. Most U.S. airlines don't use that configuration and design the area to appear as a window from the inside of the aircraft. From the inside, it was a random middle row. It's not an exit. Imagine but from the outside, it looks like a door. Does that make any sense? Okay. From the inside, it's just a random middle row. It's <gasps> not an... So they don't have an exit row. It wasn't an exit door, baby. So they're not going to do that anymore, I'm assuming, right? No, I, not, most airplanes have those things. We don't know what the oh. hell happened. That It's not supposed to... It's not supposed to break off. I didn't... That's the issue. Isn't it like physically impossible to open a door in a fucking flying aircraft? It's not physically possible, we think, right? And who, when you get on a plane, where where do you want to sit? Oh, bitch, I like sitting by the window. Bitch, I like leaning my head on that damn fucking window. And it's always cold as fuck. And guess what? I cannot confirm because I'm not sure, but I'm hearing it everywhere, that those two seats miss their flight. (gasps) Oh, I hope it's real. Yeah, I hope they because really why flight. is a plane? The plane was full. It was 174 passengers. I really hope they missed our flight because they would have been sucked out that bitch. Oh, they would have been sucked out. Uh-huh. People's phones flew out. People's phones literally flew out of the freaking hole. OK, so what this happened fuck? six minutes in the flight. Huh? So Take like off. taking off. <gasps> Take off. Wait. OK, so did the window break or like the door flew open, bitch? Oh, it was a whole hole. Break my motherfucking Oh, did you guys notice we like adjusted oh, the set a little not bit? Oh, by even uh, talking about our setup. Well, they'll see it. Uh, Karina, it was a whole hole. Wait, this is insane. A fucking door flew out of the aircraft? Two month old plane, bitch. Let like, me show you the picture. What is going on at airports? Because right into the new year. A whole fucking... Karina, the whole wall flew off. The whole door came out that yes. bitch. And there was two people not sitting there. When Han- oh, and you know what? Get this. I Someone got video. It. The flight attendant, once they land, they're like, was there anybody sitting here? The fact that he's asking, was there anybody sitting here? <laughs> Baby, he knew asking that if there was someone there, they flew off. Oh, my God. Right? So, Wait, six thank th- God. Six minutes into the flight. It, that, that's where that, you're, Oh, my God. That they just heard like a big bang. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, it's not funny. It's not funny, but fuck. No, okay, I'm so sorry. I don't I'm know why laughing. I'm laughing. I, no, I'm laughing because it's just it's the first time no, you're hearing this. This is my. I'm laughing because I have actually major fear of planes. Right? I really thought like I used to be scared of like even like the window seat a little bit because I heard that like sometimes like the window will break and like you'll get sucked out of it. I've Imagine never been scared. A whole wall door. And you know what? Sometimes I get anxiety about sitting at. <laughs> at the exit because you got to be the one responsible i never think the fucking door will fly off bitch. yeah because i heard it was physically impossible to even open it but if you, know you wanted to the point is the that pressure it's, it's a, a pr- blessing in general that nobody was sitting there period but the third person like how were they the bitch, third imagine person, i hope i heard that that um they had to like i don't know i heard it was like to be at that height level it was like sixteen thousand feet it had to be zero degrees so I think so, even the person that was sitting there, their, their skin was like super red. It was like so intense from fucking. Even the flight attendant, the one that's calling to like to like get them back to land. She's like, we have 174 passengers. She sounds so nervous, Karina. She's mortified. And you know, for a fact, she thought like, we're going to die. 
Yeah, because you you don't know if the plane's gonna go down. Usually, when a piece goes missing off a plane, I'm sure they were thinking like this plane is gonna start deteriorating. The any second. pressure, like it's gonna fuck everything up. But they landed safe. Oh, thank God! And they said that when they came to landing, like I the know. air pocket, that it was so in- intense that they they even thought like it's gonna fall apart as it's like yeah, gliding yeah. on the floor. I'm sure. But can you imagine coming out of that, Karina? I can't. I- Bitch, people this are gonna is, need like therapy after. Literally, they literally bitch. thought there's people that on TikTok that are literally like, I was on the flight and we 100 percent thought we were dying. Of course, I would think that. I would think that. If they the say lawsuit of it all. If if when a little window this big breaks open, like people are getting sucked out and it's well, like a disaster. Imagine Hoa's door, a bitch. Whole door, Krina. I'm only laughing because like it's like a nervous laugh because. <laughs> like i've flown out of ontario it, and it's just like so local uh-huh. or portland it's so it, it's so it could yeah. happen anywhere and like a plane that was fairly new to is crazy bitch. It, 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 yeah they they um they delivered it october girl that was two months ago what the fuck happened to that door yeah and even an engineer that like works in planes he had commented on a video he's like this is not like this shouldn't even be possible to happen like what what happened that's crazy absolutely not and that just makes me okay let me just put it out there i don't know how many people are you afraid of planes like do you have like a, a major fear of it i have a fear of planes i try not to think about it once i'm on there but i'm 100 percent. you're probably not the only nervous one so it's actually up of to course 40%, <laughs> Everybody's scared of fucking planes. <laughs> up to 40 percent of americans are fear flying which i thought it would be more than 40 percent though i'm not gonna lie i thought it I would be more it. than 40 because i have dreams at least at least once a month, though, I'll have a dream that I crash on a plane. I know this Ooh, is crazy. I know this is really crazy, but that's how much I fear planes. I fear planes, no matter how much I And I go try on to them. remind myself how I'm like, no, like, you know, we're in very modern days. Uh, if I was on this plane, I'm never flying a plane again. Ever again. Like, that's just so crazy. I'm just trying to think, Karina, like being asleep on a window. Well, now I know to and never that sit. thing flying off. Well, now I never want to sit by a window again. And now I never want to sit in the exit row, bitch. Because mm-hmm. even just sitting in the exit row, I feel a responsibility. I feel like I can't even nap in case I got to get up and save everybody, bitch. It's so crazy. Like, how are you even supposed to act? Because aren't you, aren't you technically responsible in the exit row? Like, what the fuck do you want me to but do, bitch? Wasn't, like, but that's the crazy part. This is not even an exit row. Like, that's the crazy part. There was no exit row. It was just a random row. That's crazy, bitch apparently the door was supposed to be welded but they were like it's fine when it gets to ontario like they'll take care of it because for international flights they're welded right or something like that well i think they're supposed to be welded in general but they were like because it's not an international flight like it should be fine and lesson fucking learned it's never fine baby you're in the damn fucking air can you sue for that oh i'm sure people are suing alaska airlines girl suing for the trauma itself the negligence like that's crazy i literally oh my god I, i'm never gonna fly in alaskan after that I'm sorry <laughs> and then the, the like next day they they you know because they had to fly back to portland i mean they were just six minutes out girl so they flew back the next day people you know figured out their flight situation would you at that moment experience i mean it it's a lot more dramatic than what we're making it see imagine being there thinking like this this is the end of me oh you still have to go fly home to ontario well some people you don't know if some uh true. some people still gotta fly some home people, okay okay so you're saying that. um would i fly after that trauma uh-huh. the next day fuck it's because the trauma must have been astronomical if it's that astronomical <laughs> i might just take a bus <laughs> <laughs> for real i'm calling up the greyhound baby because where is portland oregon how far is that okay it's, it's pretty here. far shit I mean, by drive driving is it's a bit. I don't even know, Karina. I drive. I mean, if if Travis was able to start flying again and he was in but a not whole plane the next crash, day, baby, even right. But okay, but he wasn't a okay. We can't compare. A plane but then crash again, if though. something super traumatic like that happens, yes, it's really scary to fly home the next day. At the same time, I, you might think like, okay, this is likely not going to happen again, you know. Mm. But still, it would yeah, be like fucking, the chances of something happening again. Are but am I going to be? shitting myself the whole flight the and like there. clenching my ass cheeks and like probably in tears of course yeah the, the, the trauma was there and i honestly like i'm content with not ever traveling in my life again <laughs> like just hearing that Do you i want to travel baby 
I, you know what's crazy? I don't think people understand the, the fear I have of planes. Like it's. I mean, it's scary as fuck. The fact that I have dreams at least once a month that I'm crashing That's on a plane. That's kind of crazy, Mara. Like, is is my? It's probably one of your biggest fears. Like, did I die in my past life in a plane? Like, I don't know what's going on. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Yeah. yeah. So I just, I, I, I just think it's crazy that we're in 2024. It's because like and accidents that's happening. like still happen. They're very rare. Mm-hmm. They're way less common than, you know, car accidents. But mm. the thing about flight accidents is that like you're likely going to die. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a, it's a miracle when you land. So it's absolutely that's what crazy. It, that's what's scary about that, you know, girl. But you guys on a lighter note, we forgot to show them or at least tell them about what we're wearing. Girl. <gasps> Bitch, I forgot Come on now, girl. We've been wearing this. We were what? 30 minutes in i literally forgot myra but yeah. you guys the very first sneak peek of the merch we're wearing it right now big bitch energy what's good what's up y'all we got merch coming out literally next week y'all and we're gonna ah! be literally guys and we're gonna be updating you guys on instagram and everywhere so make sure you guys i'm so tune excited in. we're so excited myra has a whole but set like, going but like for real how cute is it though it's so cute like, come on now, big bitch energy. I'm sorry. I'm wearing the T today. <laughs> oh shit. Oh sh. That's so cute. I'm here for it. I'm here for I'm it. I'm wearing um just like the uh, the the chins and giggles T, and I have just a jean jacket over it. This jean jacket is definitely adding like 50 pounds, but we love her. Oh, no, <laughs> she's cute. <laughs> so I have the set. I have the sweatpants. And I'm so excited it's here, guys. It's finally fucking here. Yes. At first, we were kind of sad that it didn't come out for the holidays, but I'm like, but wait a minute, baby. In Cali, it's getting colder by the minute. Mm-hmm. Like, we're entering full winter right now. And it's cold as fuck. This is perfect. I'm so excited, you I guys. I'm so warm. I'm so cozy. The material, incredible. I can't believe we're barely like, we started the whole podcast and we didn't mention it until like midway. Like, girl, they're probably thinking, like, oh, their shirts are cute uh, bye not me wearing Girl, literally hey, chins and giggles uh, bye uh, uh, it's coming out literally next week you guys so stay tuned y'all we're so excited that it's so finally excited here. i can't believe it but yes, there's so more much coming this is more just a coming, little guys. sneak peek you guys there's so much to talk about mm-hmm. oh my god people are going fucking crazy over stanley cups i was about to ask you can i get some of yours yeah <laughs> go on you guys, people are going absolutely crazy over the Valentine's Day Stanley Cups. They Valentine's sold out. Day. They have yes, and they're actually so cute, Myra. We'll pop it up on the screen. They have Can like a little them? heart. They have pink and red. Stop playing. They're so cute, and people. I mean, do I want it that bad? Not really. Wait, what? I want to see it. They're cute. Oh my god, it's two hundred and seventy nine dollars. Somebody's selling it for what? Okay, so people. People are obviously reselling the freaking Stanley Cups, you know, oh, like they're they cute. they're cute, right? But uh-huh. are they that fucking cute to camp out at 1 a.m. at Target in a big ass line? Where's the to secure your cup? But no, people are reselling them for up to three hundred dollars. The question is, are you going to buy them? Hundred thousand. I was going to. It was love at first sip. Two from. No way. You get to gift them. Oh, that's so cute. I get it. Oh, I'm but like. The Stanley Cup is Ryan. Just... Hope you're watching this. Myra, he's not gonna find them. He's not gonna find them. They're literally. Well, he so... better buy them for two hundred fifty bucks. I'm just kidding. No, some people are selling them for three hundred dollars. That's Myra. crazy. Myra, people were literally camping out from one in the morning at Target for the Stanley Cup. It's not. It's not good that worth the Queen. I mean, Stanleys are cute. I get it. But can we talk about how they've been existing for years and we barely are into them? Like, yeah, why? Because like, there's always this trending cup. Like there was a hydro flask. She was a. She I'm was pretty cute. sure like years ago, I thought Stanley was a very manly cup. I thought she was bulky as fucking big. Like and I'm pretty sure my dad had sta- a Stanley cup going to construction. <laughs> are they that old? Stanley cups? Are they? Girl, maybe not this style, but like Stanley cups are. Have you seen those TikToks where like I? I told my my boyfriend I wanted a Stanley Cup and he gets like the like the OG Stanley Cups like the oh, ones like a construction not. worker would get. It's <laughs> like baby, you did not do your research at all. That's so funny. They're just Myra. Like people were literally camping out, and I thought it was bullshit until I saw TikTokers at one a.m. Mm. camping out for the fucking 
Valentine's Day Stanley Cup. If you're like a collector, you know, gotta respect the hustle queen. It's just Imagine. crazy. Okay. I feel like the Stanley is so iconic. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like, how many Stanleys do you cup have? How, how many Stanley cups do you have? I think I only have two. I, I have, have one. The first one I ever got was gifted to me, and I do remember being Aww. really excited about it. It was for my birthday last year, actually, from um oh, one of our coworkers yeah, at the, the warehouse. Pink one? Yeah, and I, I remember being one. really excited about it because, like, that's when it was coming up. Uh huh. And then this one was a gift. Um, uh, see. I actually haven't bought my own. You know what? Speaking of gifts, oh, I'm gonna go off topic. I'll stop right here. Go ahead. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'll I'll tell you after. But the real question is like, like, what makes him so special? Like, what is it? Like, I'll tell you why I like my Stanley aesthetic. Like, I love the Stanley, but like to get every single. I mean, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I get accessories and shit for it. I've never had accessories. I've gotten like little cloud covers for like the straw i've gotten the bottom ones to like help it sit sturdy i like the stanley and i actually do see the hype about it because it's big it's like 40 ounces uh-huh. stanley please sponsor us you know? oh my god it's 40 ounces of water it holds a lot for me like i feel like it's helping me drink more liquids mm-hmm. also um i love that it keeps it cold and that's probably the biggest thing for me yeah, that, that i will cool. literally have my stanley cover from like yesterday and it still has fucking ice in it that's my favorite thing about it. Uh huh. Why do you like it? <laughs> I only have one, and I only got it for um my labor. <laughs> I had no I got a baby blue one, and it's something that I had to like break into. I was used to my big ass jug, like the plastic one from Amazon. She was a yeah. fucking queen. She I was- had that one too. Yeah, she was a uh, pink or was she purple? I had a few. She was a queen too, but the ice would melt fast. The ice melts quick, and the um, the wetness of the cup, you know, it's a little crazy. And that's also why we love the Stanley because you don't worry about like the wet, all that. That's that's very true. I like that it doesn't get yeah. wet on the outside. So okay, when the I handle. got the Stanley, I I think I took it with me, right? Obviously, because I got yeah. it for that, and I got a baby blue because I was having Noah. I was like, queen. boy, mom, like why <laughs> we love her? <laughs> so. I remember I was like not a fan of it. I was like, well, I don't like this. I'm really? used to my jug. I could throw it in the car. The Stanley uh-uh. tip it over. The water spills everywhere. I I was I I've even been here postpartum for it. stage. I was not using my Stanley up until like a good like maybe like month <laughs> or two after I started like reaching for it more. And now like every day with my Stanley cup yes. right there at the house. I feel like Stanley is so known now where you you just see it everywhere. Like you could take it literally anywhere. Yeah, like literally, you almost expect it wherever you go. And I, and in the beginning, I did think I was like, this shit is heavy. Uh huh. It's a little bulky, but like I'm just used to it now. She's so iconic though, because it's just crazy what people make trends. Because it's a trend. It's a trend. It's just how the many fl- hydro flask cups are are out there? It's exactly. a trend. How many look very similar but are dupes at Target, uh-huh. but you won't get it because it's not a Stanley. And you're like, you baby, want the name? It does the same shit. Yeah. Speaking of staying hydrated, Queen, are you doing dry January? I actually am. That's amazing. I'm doing dry January for a lot of reasons, bitch. I saw this I saw this meme on on Instagram. I thought it was funny because I was like, this is so true. It said, I'm so glad the holidays are over. I've been drunk since Halloween. Like what? Oh, that's funny. And like I really think about like so many parties that happened in October november friendsgiving thanksgiving christmas parties christmas new year's like so much so much partying that i'm ready to and then also coming into the new year too mm, you're like a motivation you're like i'm motivated new year, new me new year new me dry january you know like also our birthday's coming up next month so like if you're in your fitness yes. journey you know that nothing will throw you off like even a night out drinking bitch i should will bloat you for like weeks well that makes you gain a few pounds for that sure. will definitely put you up like five pounds for days and like so i was like you know what we're doing dry january we're in our I fitness era it's a good start to the new year I love you know that. and like the whole vibe and everything and here we are here we are baby and to keep the vibes going, though, we have the Heineken Zero Zero alcohol-free beer. Yes, y'all. It's a Heineken you love, but alcohol-free. This is crazy. Like, this is a vibe, though, because if you want to, like, okay, like, if you're going out with your friends and you're not drinking, but you also want to be in the vibes with them and feel like you're in the moment, but you're not actually, you know, 
drinking. drinking. This is such a vibe, dude. I love it. I mean, I really I feel like we're it. in a vibe. It has 100% of the taste, you guys, but 0.0% alcohol. Wow. I love... 0.0%. Yeah, like, well, it's literally like nothing. You, you're drinking the taste and everything uh-huh. of what you would get with the beer, but without the alcohol. I love that. So we, let's cheers for season three. It smells exactly like a this beer. This is actually also, <laughs> imagine with some salt and lemon. Mm. Even if you're just at home chilling and you're cleaning or whatever, you had a long day, but you don't want to drink, but you do want to just have that beer taste with your michelada. There's mm-hmm. people that really like the beer taste. So mm-hmm. this could be really good for you. Okay, well, cheers to season three. Okay, I'm excited to try this. Man. 0.0%, guys. Okay, that's impressive. I feel like I'm drinking beer. I'm honestly, like, if I'm going to keep it real, I don't know, like, what difference would this be from a real one with alcohol? Well, no alcohol. That's this crazy. is crazy, right? This is so perfect for a dry January, dude. Like, if you can't have alcohol for whatever reason, like, yes. this is legit. Like, I actually had never tried one of these, Mm-mm. and they are so good. Like, they taste exactly like the real thing. Yeah. Or like, even if you're not doing dry January, if you're just sober, or if you just don't drink in if general, you just don't want to drink. If you just don't want to drink, but you want to have like, you know, especially when you're going out with friends and you're not yeah. drinking, but you want to feel included instead of like sipping on your water. Like you're yeah. sipping on this. Even like in the summer, having a barbecue. There's people that are really big fans of like micheladas too and stuff that yes. would really enjoy this. But like you're not. I honestly, drinking. I feel like I'm a, I'm a fan of micheladas, not of the alcohol. So this is like perfect. Heineken zero zero guys. 100% of the taste, but 0.0% of alcohol. And get this girl. It's only 69 calories. Dang. That's amazing. Dang, that's actually really good. Right? No alcohol and low calorie. Right. Come on, fitness journey. Mm -hmm. Come on, dry January. Like, I love this. Come on, dry 2024, girl. (laughs) Bye. (laughs) So, you guys, visit our link in the show notes to purchase. Must be 21 and over to purchase. And as usual, you guys, drink responsibly. Since 1985, the McDonald's Hazer National Scholarship Program has awarded more than 33 million in scholarships to Hispanic students across the country. The program continues to provide educational opportunities to help narrow the gap that exists for Hispanic college-bound students, further reinforcing McDonald's long-lasting commitment to feeding and fostering the diverse communities it serves. Up to 30 outstanding Hispanic students are awarded McDonald's Hazer scholarships annually. Scholarships start at $5,000 and go up to $100,000, awarding a total of $500,000 every year. McDonald's wants to do more to help Hispanic students do more too. Since 1985, McDonald's has helped 17,000 students to get to places they never imagined. And this year, one of those students could be you. For more information about McDonald's Hazer National Scholarship, visit mcdonalds.com slash Hazer. Speaking of like new year, new me, right? I've been really into like content creating on TikTok. I, I feel like that. I'm like back on TikTok, She's right? In her TikTok era. And huh? let's talk about like the 10 year olds on TikTok because TikTok, I mean, don't the 10 year olds at Sephora, baby. That's the real problem here. Imagine. I think we're talking about the same situation, queen. Well, the 10 year olds on TikTok are also like beauty gurus. Over now. here where they're like luxury ass skincare. Like, I'm like, baby, I was not doing a skincare at 10 years old, but. You're a queen for that because you're really taking care of your skin at 10 years old, baby. You're, but it's not your necessary. skin is so, like, at its prime, girl. <laughs> That's crazy. Talk, talk about baby skin, bitch. No, literally, literally. But, like, it's not necessary for them to buy Drunk Elephant. It's not. <laughs> it's, it's not, baby. I mean, because they got rich parents, so. It's just so funny because, like, I, I don't know why my For You is just all about 10-year-old at Sephora. And all the experiences of, like, like the employees there, like saying that they're extremely rude or like other customers encountering 10 year olds, like being hella rude, pushing them, like fighting them for like products, just being super entitled. They're fucking up all the testers. Have you seen that too? How they're like destroying the testers. Like they'll leave a mess everywhere. And they're just like kids, 10 year olds kids being kids. Why does a 10 year old need a skincare routine is beyond me. I mean, and like the drunk elephant, uh charlotte tilbury like all these expensive ass brands too <laughs> like are, baby are we talking about the same lady at uh sephora where or was it ulta 
what where the kids like you know like she has all these stuff and the total's like a thousand something bitch well they're everywhere there's yeah. so many tiktoks about it okay well well i'm talking about a girl where um she's with her sister and they're all like they're ringing them up with like separate cashiers and she's like you know and then her mom tells her like no take a couple items out and i think it ended up being like 600 or 700 dollars like the total but like your mom's still filthy rich girl because baby you're taking all that shit back if you're my child bitch like even like as an adult when you're like trying to even as an adult not i'm bank. not wasting thousands on skincare bitch that's actually so crazy oh my goodness but you know what these are privileged kids and it's the parents fault but there's a i think it's cute for like a kid to want to experiment with lip gloss and stuff you know but yeah, like, like the kids on tiktok like go off queen you know get your routine. but like it's really not necessary for them to spend all that money on like high-end skincare like you are literally in your prime like with your skin it's not i don't even think at that point at being 10 i don't think you're like helping it you're 10 how is that i, gonna, mean, I don't know what it's doing but i feel like drunk elephants extreme. it's 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 pretend play makeup is what it is yeah it's basically what it is i come across sometimes tiktoks like um literally just kids going off with their skincare or like you guys get ready with me you know going here get going there and i'm like they're get they ready with like me children. is like some lotion on their face um it's a skincare routine and that's it it's a skincare routine and i'm like period well i mean it's good that they're not going crazy well, with it but it's, there is it's some good that, that they're not doing anything crazier besides tiktok i'd prefer my child to be on tiktok than out here doing what other probably kids are doing maybe yeah but it's like if my kid wants to play with like moisturizers and have a little skincare routine, I'm not gonna buy her drunk elephant. I'm not going. I'm, I'm not gonna buy her a retinol that's like literally anti aging. Like, baby, that's crazy. Not <laughs> anti aging at ten years old. Like, what do you want? To look, two years old. Like, I'm so confused. Like, what is going on? <laughs> like, bitch, you're literally five. Like, you do not need it. And it's just so funny because I think most people are also talking about just how like entitled these kids are in the store. Oh, have you seen the ones of the customers that how they'll do TikToks and they'll be like, I encountered a 10 year old and like, she almost fought me. Like, like she was being so rude to me, like bumping into me and like, and I'm just like, I could totally picture it. You know, that age girl, go play with your fucking play dolls. What are you even doing here? Like, <laughs> no, that's Baby, so cringe. Go get some slime. Um, right. It, like, it's just funny. Like at that age, it's funny how times have changed, Mario, because I remember we started wearing makeup like maybe like in eighth grade or something. Like and that 13? was already us like 13, 13, 14. And I remember people like at school, like pointing it out, like, why are you wearing makeup? Yeah. And it was like fucking eyeliner. Like it was like very minimal. I mean, I don't think there's anything insane with doing skincare. It's like us when we used to get our nails done, like at eight, seven years old, like acrylics. Why did we need bitch. acrylics? I can't believe my mom let us get acrylics that little. But she's a queen because I will. If I had a daughter, I would let her get her nails done acrylic too. I, I mean, care. I would. I would be like, "Do you want a manicure?" I don't know if I want Mia having acrylics at five. <laughs> Maybe not five, but like eight, ten. Why not? Maybe tiny. I don't know acrylics like that little, or it's a little wild. But my mom's a queen for that. I think her. <laughs> I we were always so embarrassed of going to school with our nails. Yeah, I mentioned right on the podcast how I had wore gloves to hide them, like, like in for the what? summer. Like why? Like hot. Like why go all out and get our nails done to, to hide them at school? Mm. I don't know. But these kids, it's just, I think it's funny. I think it's cute or whatever. But like, if you're going to get them skincare, like get them like lower end brands like that. You're not going to break the bank with like, you mm. don't not need drunk elephant or like the ordinary like serums and all that. Like yeah. girl, you're 10. What would you say though? Like with Mia, if she wanted to be a content creator and she's on TikTok making content at, 10 years old that's so young mara it's so young right that is so young i come across kids on tiktok Karina, that are like they'll be like lip singing to like these songs that are like obviously like not for kids and i'm like girl does your mom even know you posted this like does she or they'll be like dancing all like and i'm like what's going on does here? your mom not know like she can't there's no way your mom knows this like it's crazy but sephora has basically became like the new claire's people are saying you know as a kid people would like dreamt oh. of claire's and like that was where you would go but do you think like there's maybe someone on tiktok that they're admiring like another 10 year old i've literally came across other 10 year olds on tiktok like people that are going viral maybe these kids are going viral so it's influencing all these other little kids to go to I've those came places across, like randomly like um i come across this little girl randomly and she's like super confident and very like 
get ready with me for this and she's like doing all this like whole skincare routine my, my mom got me a mercedes like like a 10 step skincare routine like more more skincare routine that i've seen like an adult because beauty maybe, guru. maybe they're so into it because it's all that they can use they can't wear makeup no but they are she was also wearing makeup they're also wearing makeup but they're also have like this whole skincare routine down <laughs> <laughs> you're about to knock down I your need to stop moving your decor but they're girl. also doing the makeup and all full glam and i'm like oh my full gosh. glam yeah it's crazy 10 year olds are different these days that's for sure so word on the street is because north be getting ready on tiktok with she does but i respect that kim like is there watching her right she's there with her okay that's good yeah you know maybe she'll have some tiktoks where she's not there but like i feel like she probably does you know, have to go through Kim before posting it because she's Kim Kardashian. Like, come on now. Mm -hmm. Her daughter's not going to embarrass her. So I'm sure she has to confirm with her whatever she posts. Mm -hmm. But word on the street is she might be coming out with some skincare girl. Northwest. Skincare. That's crazy. But like, isn't it like it's going to be like kids skincare? Oh, (laughs) let me clarify. Yes. Kids skincare. But like, what's the difference? Like, I think the difference is that it's play, play skincare. Like what when you buy makeup for kids, what is it? Mm-hmm. It's like pretend play. Mm-hmm. So I think it's gonna be very um you know, the product is not gonna be like super high quality. Not anti aging. There's no reason for it, yeah. So for <laughs> them to play with, but I don't think the ten year olds are gonna hop on it. I think they're gonna want that drunk elephant. Have you ever tried drunk drunk elephant? I have, I think. I think I've done like testers only from them. I feel like I almost want to go there and be a 10 year old and purchase my drunk elephant skincare. But like they like I was looking at employees like on TikTok saying that they were they literally asked for like anti-aging retinols and shit. And that they're thinking like this 10 year old like that's or like chemical peels and shit. <laughs> I, you know, they're going to be doing more damage to their skin than trying to than doing good. Yeah. You know, what's funny, though, I remember like being very, very young and doing a chemical peel. <laughs> What? I was probably like 14. What? I don't know what it was. I think Where? I just I just remember finding like a chemical peel somewhere. My mom's probably. No, I think I bought it. What? But it was like a chemical peel for your skin. At 10? Yeah, I probably did it for acne or something. Not 10. I was like 14. I think okay, I did it for acne. When... See, that's more that's well, as a kid too, like I remember being like literally like 13 and asking my mom, like, oh, can I get like um hair growth products and stuff? But that's different. That's so Hair different though, products. because like I understand, like I I remember like I used to break out a lot, mm-hmm. like around like fourteen years old. I do remember having like a lot of acne, mm-hmm. and I was like looking for. I remember proactive, looking at proactive, all these like different skin cares, mm-hmm. skincare routines to like for my skin. Okay, I could see how those kids like that, they're going through a acne. ten year old girl. You've never had a pimple in your life. Yeah, it's likely they have it, huh? But you know what it is? It's also again a trend. And they probably are watching all these TikToks and it's just it seems fun. I don't think it's hurting anybody. But baby, you got the check your fucking child being rude to the damn. It's the rude ones in mm-hmm. stores. Yeah, that's a problem. It's the rude ones. I got an issue with that. If my kid wants to do. What are you doing? Care? What are you doing if a 10 year old is beefing with you at Sephora? Are you swinging? Uh, I don't even know how I would react because it's like, you know, they're kids. Where's your mom? That's what I'm gonna say. That's what I'm gonna fucking say. Hello, imagine. And you know, I'm fighting like, her. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Come get your fucking child before yeah. I do. Imagine. Bye. No, honestly, I don't even. I honestly wouldn't even expect to be fighting with a ten year old. And I feel like I think I would just be so flabbergasted. Yeah. Because you know, how, like ten year olds could be like a little snarky and like uh, I could imagine them at the store like I saw it first. I'm taking it. Well, take damn it, bitch. bitch. Take it. Oh, Amazon Prime that shit. Bye. Imagine. You don't know what that is. Actually, no, they do know what that is. That's crazy. Yeah. I feel like they shouldn't even be allowed in there, girl. Like, get, <laughs> There should be an age limit at Sephora. There should be an age limit. <laughs> if it's getting that crazy, <laughs> oh, stay the fuck outside. Wait for your mommy to come out and get your shit. <laughs> There's funny. nothing wrong with it, though. There's nothing wrong with it. I think it's like the rude kids that are clearly privileged actually kids are just fucking weird though like that <laughs> kids are just fucking weird. like kids are fucking rude yeah. and i could imagine like yeah like the entitlement yeah okay, and it's natural they're kids i'm here for rare beauty mm-hmm. do you have rare beauty Can you imagine 
Oh my goodness. Speaking about rare beauty, Selena Gomez. And, okay, so the... I was gonna say the snow globes, bitch. The <laughs> what is it? The golden globe, the snow globes, bye. <laughs> the golden globes just passed. And you know, um, you know how Timothy and Kylie are together now? Mm-hmm. A couple. Mm-hmm. And Selena was there, Taylor was there. So there's a rumor going around because there's footage on TikTok of a video where it looks like Selena is gossiping to Taylor and a friend. And you know how there's like those experts on TikTok that will like mouth read? Yeah. Apparently, she, supposedly she said, I try to take a picture with Timothy, Timothy, <laughs> Timothy. And she said no, like she denied it, saying Kylie. And the reason that it started is because Kylie denied the picture. Yeah, this is like the rumor going around. The Hold reason, on, I'm sorry. Selena tried to take a picture with, with Timothy. So apparently she asked him for a picture and she said no. That's like the rumor going around. And the reason that they think the rumor is hot is because you clearly see and hear the friend respond to, to Selena. And she's like, Timothy. She says that like, you hear her say Timothy. And she's like, yeah. <gasps> so, you know, that like the word Timothy came out of her mouth so when they were gossiping. Him. Yes. Selena came out and said that she was not talking about Timothy, but like you clearly, at first I was like, no, people are just thinking that they said that and they're like putting words in their mouth. Mm-hmm. But there's actually an audio clip where you hear her say, you hear the Timothy. Mm-hmm. And Selena's like, yeah. So the rumors going around saying that she went up to Kylie and him and said, can I take a picture with him? And she said, Kylie said no. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess they didn't date, but I feel like I've seen pictures of them before, of Selena and Timothy. And like, they definitely like, had a were, thing. Ha- they look like they were a little cuddled up. Maybe they were just friends, but... For my taste, I'd be like, y'all have something going on. I don't know. You know? So so this just takes me back because let's look at the whole triangle here. Um it's it's a lot, but like, you know how there was that whole Hailey Bieber and Kylie Jenner drama with Selena last year? And you know, I know that Selena came out and said, like, oh, don't believe that. Don't believe well, it was Hailey taking most of it. Um, you know, when Kylie and Haley had posted a picture, no, Kylie had posted a picture of their eyebrows and they thought they were every, the whole world thought that they were making fun of Selena. So Haley was getting dragged and filled. Remember that? Mm -hmm. So Kylie is really good friends with Haley. So it would make sense for her to like, not like Selena as much. Right. (gasps) Right. Cause she's besties with Haley Mm. and I'm not buying the bullshit of there's no beef between Haley and Selena selena coming out and saying like there's no beef i don't know what she said exactly but i know she like mentioned like oh leave Haley alone like it's getting out of hand oh it's obvious that's only to like clear the air because she was getting dragged through fucking filth like crazy and this was after she was getting like destroyed that she like came out and was like okay guys like calm down she probably did feel bad for her but you are there's no fooling anybody there's got to be some animosity between Haley and selena they're just keeping yeah. it cute for the social for the oh, world 1000 percent. they're keeping it cute but you don't think that like so many people pitting them against each other that naturally they have like all this comparison between them and all this pinning them against each other and getting dragged through filth with like with the other one like not saying much and like one person being idolized and the other one like being shamed constantly you don't think that naturally they have like little like something against each other mm. like let's be for real here mm-hmm. they gotta like not like each other so yeah. Kylie is her best friend. So like, yeah, it would make sense for her to tell Selena like, no. Also, like she literally had replied like Selena when that whole drama was going on and she was like defending Taylor. Remember when some, somebody had like commented something about, oh yeah, and she was like, okay, about my, like me, I could handle it, but my best friend, something like that. Also Taylor Swift, like hates, she has to hate the Kardashians and Jenner's. Because she's been beefing with Kim Kardashian for <gasps> years. Oh, that's right. You know, Taylor, the whole like Kanye West, you know, the whole thing, how it started and how Kim was always defending her man and stuff. Yeah. So like, and then she did the song, like, look what you made me do. That was basically about them. Like, and then the whole like snake thing that happened on Twitter with Kim. The point is there has been beef between on the- Kim and Taylor for literally years now. I think to the point that it's just like, they just don't so fuck with each other. So is Kylie on the wrong or on the right for doing that? So that's where I was going to go with that. Like, you know, what I'm saying, like, where I'm going is, like, Kylie, it, Haley's one of her best friends. 
-hmm. doesn't like selena let's be real taylor most likely hates the kardashians and jenners you're gonna tell me they were not possibly gossiping Mm -hmm. about her let's be for real now is kylie in the wrong if she did say no you can't take a picture with him is selena being petty asking for a picture with him though in front of kylie knowing all the beef that they have is she was she being a little like i'm gonna get a picture with your man but it is a little random like how they're all celebrities like it would be very normal for her to be like let's take a selfie and it would be like no big deal at all but is she right for if she were let's say she did say that Uh uh-huh no okay so the question is was she in the wrong is she in the right okay i'm kylie jenner i'm with my man and this bitch that came that has history with my man comes up trying to take a selfie imagine okay this is just us it's, like okay if they literally, literally the real they story. are actors and they were kissing no it, literally for the film okay well we don't know that they could have history people but this is the thing for a while people the fans speculated and shipped them mm. so they were being shipped before All right, so so let's say let's say you are a, a red carpet with raul and this girl that you know he had history with. We're just going to say they have history because that's the only way it would make sense. Okay. Let's say they have history. You know you know a couple things about them. She comes up trying to... Maybe she's being flirty and she wants to take a selfie. You don't know the vibe. The point is she wants to come up and take a selfie with him. What are you doing? I think the first thing on my mind is going to be, why are you coming up to us, babe? God. Yeah. Because like... I think, I don't know how cool Selena and Kylie are, but I feel like with the whole Haley thing that happened back th- back last year, like not even a whole year ago. It's a little too fresh. It's a little, a little too soon. fresh and like, it's kind of giving, I, we don't know if this happened or not, guys. It probably didn't. But it's almost giving a little petty, like, yeah, I'm coming up to you. I know. And I'm, ch- and I'm asking a picture, a picture of your man, but not you. Why aren't you asking for a group picture, babes? I think it is rude. I'm trying to put myself in that spot. And if I was with Brian in a red carpet, I was trying to really like play the picture of the scene. And a woman that possibly had history and the entire world was shipping them. <laughs> and not just that long ago, I was like in a whole feud with these bitches. Oh, yeah. It's giving. I would health. say back the fuck up. <laughs> You're not taking any fucking selfie. <laughs> and if she did say anything i'm really trying to think like in, in real life though in real fucking life if a woman that has history with brian tried to take a selfie bitch i'm probably swinging <laughs> like that's not normal karina okay what's funny about is about all of this is that i don't think they ha- were dating ever but people should. <laughs> i know we're all like look we're saying if yes it's the history. fact no i think it's the fact that like <laughs> Like this whole giant feud that happened recently. I know that it was like they said there was no drama and stuff. But like there was this huge feud and like the drama went on for so long until she finally said like, all right, guys, take it easy. Like it's just that alone. Like where, you know, they're, they, they're not besties like that, you know, for you to be even like coming up and like asking for a picture with him. Uh-huh. Maybe it was, you know, who knows if it even happened. I think but- Selena, she plays off the innocent queen vibe very well. She got to have a little fucking petty in her. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Around New Year's, we get obsessed with how to change ourselves instead of just expanding on what we're already doing right. Maybe you finally organize one part of your space and you want to tackle another. Or maybe you're taking your supplements every morning and now you want to actually eat breakfast too. Therapy helps you find strengths so you can ditch the extreme resolutions and make changes that really stick. Girl, y'all been hearing us talk about new year, new me, new habits. And let me tell you what's going to help us with that, girl. Some therapy. You know what? You're speaking to my soul right now because I feel like this year, a lot of my goals were really to, you know, enhance what I'm doing now. Like how I mentioned waking up early and, you know, just things like that. And it all starts up here. We have to get in the right mindset. 
It's helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself. It isn't just for those who've experienced major trauma, etc. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, you guys. Designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Celebrate the progress you've already made. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Shins and Giggles today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Shins and Giggles. If I asked you how many subscriptions you have, would you be able to list all of them and how much you're paying, girl? If you would have asked me this question before I started using Rocket Money, I would have said yes. But let me tell you, I would have been so wrong. I can't believe how many I had and all the money I was wasting. Seriously, do you ever feel like money is just flying out of your account and you have no idea where it's going? Well, I know where it is, girl. It's all those subscriptions. I mean, yeah, think about it. Between streaming services, fitness apps, delivery services, parenting apps, it's endless. I'm guilty of this. So I used Rocket Money to help me find out what subscriptions I'm actually spending money on. It was so eye-opening, and I had them cancel the ones I didn't want anymore. Because think about all these apps that you get, like, over the years, and you're paying for them. Like, for what? I'm scared to check. The other day, I got charged for an editing app, which I subscribed to forever ago. Honestly, I completely forgot about it because it was one of those annual charges, and I stopped using it after a few months. I tried to cancel it, and the only way to do it was by calling their customer service number. Absolutely not. But of course, they're only available from 10 to 5. And who calls people anymore? So what did I do? Nothing. Rocket Money, on the other hand, was able to take care of it for me easily. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills. I can see all of my subscriptions in one place, and if I see something I don't want, I cancel it with a tap. I never have to get on the phone with customer service ever again. How amazing is that? How many times do you get an app because you're like, I'm just going to get it for the trial run? And then the trial's over, and then boom, you're you paying forgot. it, and you forgot about it. And I'll tell myself, I'll, I'll do a mental note. I'm like, I'll remember to cancel it. I don't. And get this, y'all. They'll even try to get you a refund for the last couple months of wasted money and negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. Wow. All you have to do is take a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions, girl. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash chins. That's rocketmoney.com slash chins. Rocketmoney.com slash chins. We all got a little, a little, a little petty yeah, in us. Of course. And I could see her going in there, especially that whole feud they had. Like, you were brave. You are very brave to even come in face to face where Kylie is. Uh -huh. After all of that, because yeah. they were dragging Kylie too, they were. So that she was I trying think, to do something, and Kylie was not here for it. I think deep down, like the whole like, oh, we don't have drama. Is so I think that's all bullshit. I I bet you, like, you don't think Kylie was talking all this shit about Selena when all that shit was going down? 100%. Kylie and Hillary. Hillary, what's her name? If you Haley. Haley. Like, you don't, yeah, like, you don't think they were saying, like, damn, we're over here getting fucking dragged through filth, like, through the mud? Why isn't she saying anything? For a while, like, she yes. didn't say anything, you know? She, she agreed to, she agreed with everything. You know, she had to. I feel like if somebody is dragging you in the name of somebody else and that person is silent for a bit, like, it, if it was for real, for real, like, nah, that's my homegirl, don't talk about her, it would have been shut down immediately. Uh-huh immediately she feels something for yeah. her so a lot of people are also somebody well one person i saw mentioned on tiktok that they want to believe it you know because it's juicy tea and stuff mm -hmm. but they said this they were like if somebody caught that on camera like there, there's obviously influencers there too it's not just like a-list celebrities that yeah. were at the golden globes if they caught that conversation you don't think that such a huge moment like selena going up to kylie would have been caught on camera too like that would have been caught on video one million percent if it actually happened so yeah i yeah. think of that and i'm like that's true like it probably didn't happen let's be for real because if but that also was caught, a lot of those events there's no phones allowed but they recorded 
when Selena was gossiping with, they were gossiping about something 100%. She's like telling like um, Taylor and the other girl something and she, and they're like shocked. And then the girl's like, Timothy? But you hear Timothy 100%. I mean, they were at least talking about Timothy, but we don't also know like maybe she didn't ask for a picture. Maybe it was something else. She was but, just like, Timothy? They were probably gossiping something. It's about crazy because you know Kylie's questioning it, even if it's just like a rumor. Kylie's definitely thinking like, "Are they talking about?" And us? if she did deny the picture, she knows. But who knows? Huh? Like, who knows what really happened? Whew, that was one hell of a year, and we just started. Ah, bitch. <laughs> what a week in! But you a guys, um, let us know what you think about our new set. Let us know if you're excited about the merch, babes. We can't wait to show you more. I know. I love that we really talked for like half an hour. <laughs> we literally even... forgot we were wearing it, you guys. Isn't that so funny? But yeah, merch is coming next week. We got the new set, you guys. I don't know how much we talked about the new set. Well, it's the same set, but we like added a character. Yeah. I was telling Myra, I was like, I feel like. Why is my foot up here? <laughs> I'm all like. I've, my feet have been up here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, I was telling Myra, I'm like, I feel like. We needed some character in here. Like we it's obviously really nothing crazy for the ones that are not viewing the right? video because they're going to come in and they're going to be like, really? That's how I y'all mean, put it. <laughs> we're not a reality TV show, which reality, what the fuck? we're not like a whole talk show, but we, I did. I do feel like when you add like a little bit of character to it, it kind of like makes the place more like cozy. Co- more cozy vibes. Um, so we just added like random stuff behind us. Um, that was it. <laughs> That's it. Ladies. Imagine. But yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed episode 89. 89. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. And this is your year, Queen. You got this. This is all our fucking year, guys. And yeah. we can't wait. Who the fuck knows what's going to happen in the next week? Yeah. There's always like Crazy. new stuff coming out and stuff. So we'll talk to you guys next week, y'all. Thank you for watching. We'll see y'all next time. <laughs>